What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the blue color. Playing as Zeus. His name is Shelty. His opponent today in the red color playing as Thor. His name is Kimo. And look at this from Kimo. A little bit of spice here to start the game off. I like it. I like it. Dwarves on food. First game going to Kimo. He gets a bit of a comfort pick. Shelty actually went for a really, really interesting opening. Trying to get... Uh, I imagine trying to get Kimo out of his comfort zone there. He played a fairly rare strategy. Couldn't quite make it work. And Kimo found the dub. Now, Kimo's on the Thor. He's on the Thor and he's against Shelty's Zeus. Uh, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I love this matchup. I love Zeus versus Norse. Um, specifically, Zeus versus uh, any, uh, like any of the... Well, actually, I just love Zeus versus Norse. It's always an entertaining game because the Zeus player generally goes fairly aggressive and the Norse player has to fight for their life to survive. And if, if I like anything, it's, it's one player fighting for their life to survive. Um, so we'll see how it's going to go. Uh, Kimo's Thor. He has had a little bit of problems with it through this tournament. Um, but... As I've said before, he is no slouch when it comes to Norse, so you, you can't be underestimating that in the slightest. So we'll see what he's going to come up with and if he can deal with Shelty's Zeus in this game. As Pigsticker also coming through for Kimo, knows to get that one, very important. He's also saved his gold mine, so he's going to be able to use that in his main town center in the Classical Age if he gets pushed off of this exposed gold mine here. Uh, he's also got a wood line to share with the gold tier. So we'll see if he wants to do that. Uh, he just has to move the villagers around and be a little bit efficient, but uh, inefficient to move them around, but it could be worth it. Uh, as the walrus here is getting taken and all the good stuff. Lots of villagers on food here. Now, let's talk about some strategy that Thor can go for to find themselves not being so, so much on the defensive. Strategy number one is you can just be really, really aggressive against Zeus. I've seen it happen and, it, and it's not like it's crazy bad because if you can advance super fast as Thor and you just go and put some pressure onto your opponent early and hit them off hunt and things like that, if you slow the Zeus player down, then you can utilize the speed of your army to make life really tough for them. Uh, or you can just play for the defensive thing. Now, that being all said, strategies for Zeus, there are three strategies you can go for with Zeus. And they all have like little sub, like sub tiers of strats you can go for after the fact. But I will say that the general uh, consensus is that if you can Athena rush, you should Athena rush with Zeus. Um, so that's where you go for military buildings and you get your hoplites, your toxodes, your minotaurs out. And you try and rush through your opponents, slam through their base and, and, and kill them nice and fast. But other two strategies that are uh, that are involved are going through Hermes and making yourself some centaur. Alternatively, making yourself some Hippocon in in the Hermes idea, or going for a second town center. So if you if your opponent's map is really really sh good and you don't feel like you can do a whole lot to them, just making centaur or going for a second town center can work in this matchup if they're not really ready for it and they've gone for all these defenses and all the other good stuff like that go Athena pretend like you're attacking and then you just get a town center and you're like hang on I bought I bought I bought uh watchtowers and I put all these walls down and I didn't even use it uh, but we are going to be seeing that advance coming through here for chemo very very shortly a little bit late on the advance time from uh not both players we see a perfect 339 there are 439 advance time for Shelty I would say that chemo's advance time here a little bit late. I'm not sure what that is about, but um, he's got a lot of food in the bank. He's going up through Fort City. Pickaxe coming through, moving his villages back onto the berries. He is taking his sweet time getting to the second age. Now, there's really no excuse for this. So you have to say that this was on purpose. So we'll talk about what a later advance time does for a player and why sometimes it could be a good idea. Uh, so effectively... What it means is that for every villager you go up later, that's going to be somewhere in, well, it's basically 60 seconds extra gather time for those villagers. So you could say that that equals somewhere in the vicinity of 60 resources, depending on which resource you jump onto. Uh, but in general, 60 seconds worth of gather time per villager. So Chemo gets a little bit more resources to kick this game off with than if you advance faster. Shelty advances 
fairly normally, not a crazy fast advance line, but fairly normally here in this game. Um, but he's going to have to get some serious damage done to punish this later advance time from Chemo. As we do see the uh, the Jason in here, he's holding a relic here. Let me just check what sh uh, relic this one is. It's got the Harmonious Necklace. We were talking about how good this is in a previous series for Greek. Uh, it's actually absolutely insane how good it is as the, th as the Jason does come through. Going to slap a, a Gatherer away. Got to be careful with this one. Definitely don't want to be losing HP all too much on that Jason. As we do see the Archery Range down, Military Academy down. Uh, Shelty might even want to consider getting himself out another Minotaur here. As the Jason is uh, very much caught out of position. Will be retreating away, uh, but he does have the, uh, the speed here, so... Should be able to get out, no problems, without all too much damage coming in. And at this point here, Sheldy's got to know, Chemo, he is in his base. He's not doing anything. He's in his base. Does he have um, husbandry? Yes, he does have husbandry. He's taking villages off of the wood, off of the food, over onto the wood. And it looks like he's going to be trying to mass out a whole bunch of throw and axemen. Now, there is a strategy here with Norse that I do um, think is good, which is Hursa throwing axemen. Uh, idea being your Hursa tank for your throw and axemen, your throw and axemen kill off the uh, the hoplites, and you enjoy the game where that's concerned. There's the Minotaur coming through onto this gold mine. I'm going to cause some problems here. I would love to see that Minotaur trying to snipe down the... Uh, Trying to snipe down the, the old suck there, but he's getting caught out here, trying to sneak out of this position as the Odysseus now coming in. And now the fighting is going to be beginning uh, as the Minotaur here looks like it's almost taken out. Oh, it does manage to stay alive where that's concerned. Watchtower's coming through for Chemo, even with the poor Watchtower over here. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing another Watchtower getting dropped down here in all honesty from uh, from Chemo as the Healing Spring will get that, uh, get that Herso back up to full HP if he wants to, but Villagers, Dwarves getting pushed off here, Kimu does have himself Dwarven Mine, so he can come and drop that in his main base, doesn't manage to snipe off that Dwarf there, as he stays alive with one HP, very, very lucky Dwarf where that's concerned, as Shelty pulls back for the time being, and then we'll see how this one goes, looks like Shelty retreating away a little bit early here, I'd love to see a Villager get sent down onto this position, and wall this off super early, uh, this is something I don't see enough from Zeus players, is just send a villager and get walls going up um, when they're going for these sort of Athena rushes. Because if you, or even just getting a military building down here, uh, as we see a town center coming up for Shelty super early. That's wild! We don't see this ever! That's absolutely wild. He's still getting good damage done. If he micros this a little bit better uh, by separating the Hoplites and the Toxodes into Odysseus and... Um, O Odysseus and, and Toxodes into a control group and the, and the melee units into a different control group. You can really get some good damage done here as we do see, not only that, a Dwarven gold mine being cast here, which basically means that Shelty has got himself an opportunity to stay Classical Age and fight a Heroic Age Thor really, really easily here. As we do see the Minotaur getting sniped down there, uh, a little bit of a misplay from Shelty as he's going to be retreating back to the town center coming up for Shelty. I love this play. This is a play we don't see a whole lot from Zeus. A lot of the times the Zeus players really love going for like semi-fast heroics in these sorts of positions and trying to make that work as uh, these Toxodes do have full reign to just push in and out of these sorts of positions here because Kimo is going for a defensive semi-fast heroic here. Um... Uh, and Kimo can actually stop making her, so he doesn't need any of this. He's got all the food income on those cows there. And Shelty kind of has to know that this is coming for him as the army swings around on this position. Uh, but this might be a little bit of a misplay here as the army spots Kimo moving across the map. But he has to be micro in this one. Shelty is about to start fighting on this position here. Those are throwing axemen are very, very deadly. Does lose one hoplite. Loses two hoplites almost there as he pulls away. The troll does get another attack in as the army pulling up onto this position here. Right now, population differential kind of favoring, uh, kind of favoring Shelty at the moment as the army getting pushed back here. Uh, this isn't part of the game plan for Chemo. He does want to get some value out of his army, but mostly he needs to get Heroic Age here, get into the Huskull, get across the map, and start getting some uh, advantage here as Shelty 
Still trying to take some fights here. Good usage of the Toxodes. There's that split up that I was talking about. This is exactly what he needs to do. Keep those uh, throwing Axemen at bay there as uh, the gold mine has been pushed off. The Dwarf's still mining this gold mine out uh, and a little bit short on the gold there, but he's, he's about to be able to advance up. The question is, how much value does Frost get when the Zeus player still has restoration? That's the that's the question. Plus, where is the hill fort going to go? As Scardi coming through here for Chemo, Chemo pushing forward, Shelty pushing in here as well, looking for something to do. We do see the hoplites moving up to the top side of the map there, as the Toxode is getting some good damage done. And Shelty going to be retreating back for the time being. We do see the Hoplites checking this location out. I like that, but I would like it more if there was a building there. One lone building down here to check that out in a better way. Shelty's got resources up the wazoo for food, for wood. Obviously, he's saving that wood to build farms here, which I absolutely love. But one village of pushing forward here would be absolutely gigantic for Shelty as the, uh, as the throw and axeman starting to move forward here as well you do see the uh, army of shelty swinging around to check out this gold mine but there's still a little bit of gold remaining over here as well toxodes just popping their head through chemo playing very very safe here i love how safe chemo is playing at the moment but nice uh nice find there almost snipes a tox a uh, uh, throw an axe from there as the village is going to get targeted down you really don't want to get frosted on this position that's only half his army that's only the that's only the toxodes this doesn't matter at all this is huge for Shelty. He's not going to care about losing these units in the slightest as the uh, Frost Giant getting taken down here. A whole bunch more archers can come through. I mean, even that even that being said, there's going to be a Huskull coming through here as the Hoplite's coming in to cause some problems over here to get some damage done. The Hoplite's coming through. I would love to see a Hoplite just stay on this gold mine patrolling because you can almost guarantee the Chemo's going to move up there here as the uh, the walls get denied. 20 seconds left. We see Hoplites targeting this uh, hill fort down just to distract for the time being, retreating back on that position. The Toxodes are mostly going to be kept alive. Shelty's economy is absolutely pumping now 54 villages in the bank full population uh and he's fighting so he's going to be getting those villages out ever so slightly as the dwarves and villages as i said coming up to this gold mine you knew it was happening no way uh it wouldn't be as those Toxod is going to be retreating away. We see some raiding cavalry coming out, but mostly I want to be seeing Huskull here. At this point, the chemo army in the heroic age, very tough to take a fight here, but Shelty has still got himself restoration. And now we see the Toxodes seeing nothing on the gold mine, realizing, okay, he's kind of made a mistake leaving that position. The army of Chemo are going to move up to the top side of the map here. Do we see Shaft Mine is the big question. No Shaft Mine just yet for Chemo. I would love to see that so he gets as much gold as he possibly can where that's concerned. Uh, Shelty, on the other hand, he's still on the cows, throwing farms up. There's no more hunt, really. I mean, there's walrus up on this position, but there's no more hunt, really, as the Toxodes, unfortunately, moving underneath that... Uh that hill fort there, distracting the army away as the army of Shelty coming onto this position. This could be a big mistake from Shelty as he's coming through. He gets the surround. The th th throw and axemen are here on mass, but there is still a big restoration remaining here as the army is very much caught out for chemo. Going to be able to take out a lot of these units. He does pull in with those throw and axemen. I love these walls here. Shelty doesn't need to kill off this Migdol's, not this Migdol, this hill fort here as he does pull back. Was that a bit of a mistake on the uh, restoration? You be the judge of that one. Shelty is almost up to the next stage, but he's got a third town center as well as the army pulling back. Chemo is stuck on one town center now in this game as Chemo doesn't, as Shelty doesn't even care that Chemo's hill fort and tower are here. There's only about seven six hoplites here this is majority toxodes so shelty's got to be careful with how many toxodes he's going to be making because these huskal are very very useful in these positions heavy infantry coming through as well for chemo as shelty taking this fight underneath this position hill uh frost giants are also going to start coming out on mass here as shelty does have to retreat away he needs to get himself to the heroic age he needs to get himself some huskal now to deal with those uh, with, sorry, not some Huskull, some Hapaspus now to deal with those Huskull, and Chemo needs to take this advantage now to get himself a town center up ASAP, because 
Shelty's economy is going to be gigantic here. Ladies and gentlemen, as the unit's pulling back into this position here, and we'll see how things are going to, are going to motor on in this game. As Chemo is, I mean, Dionysus is coming through here for, for, uh, for Shelty. I, I don't hate the Dionysus bronze when your opponent has got not a whole lot remaining. Not a bad idea, though I do often more than, more than not like the, uh, the Underworld a little bit better, but maybe it's a better choice in this specific position. One of the other problems with Dionysus is no access to the Temple of Healing, where in the late game, that's a big, big bonus to deal with uh, heroes. Uh, not heroes, myth units of of Nor, specifically the, the fire giants there, as these frost giants getting taken down nicely by the Jason and everything else. Uh, but the hill fort coming up, the town center up here, going up with just the one throw and action. This is one of the hardest parts about playing Norse, is how do you get your town center up when you're under the pump? Uh, and we do see one Katoska boss coming over here to check this position out here as well. I love that. Uh, Shelty can move forward and try and grab that one and go for a for four to two town center advantage and try and survive against a potential Ragnarok coming for himself. I love those walls. This is so good from Kemo. This is something every Norse player needs to put into their um into their hill fort defensive arsenal. So important. Heavy archers, heavy infantry coming through immediately there for Shelty is not prioritizing the Mythic Age at all. Army of Chemo is kind of out of position here as the Hydra gets caught out. That was a silly place for that Hydra to go. Bronze does get dropped down here by uh, Shelty as the uh, Odysseus getting pulled away here. That Jace not doing a whole lot. The Toxodes is going to be ignoring these Frost Giants for the time being here as well. I'm sure that Hapaspus is going to be coming out here as well for Shelty. As the focus fire coming in nice, I'd love to see, in addition to the focus fire onto the Tox, onto the, of the Toxodes, onto the Throne Axeman, some focus fire of the infantry onto the Huskull there, as the Odysseus takes down one Frost Giant. The Frost Giant still pulling away here, uh, and it looks like Chemo dropping down to 109 population here. Still 51 villages for Chemo, still behind. He's getting farms up. He's still got a little bit of cow left. No plow just yet, which is a big problem. But he does have all these walruses up here. So he's still got those to use moving forward in this game as those Toxodes are doing so much damage here. But the Huskal are out. And look at the, look at the armor difference. 55% versus a bronzed 40%. So it's kind of close. But the Huskull are doing much more damage than those Toxodes with, what is it, 200% bonus damage? Oh, sorry, 100% bonus damage there. So they're doing like 20, uh, 20, 20 damage per second or something. As uh, Shelty is retreating back. I have yet to see a Hapaspis here. As the Hoplites are going to sneak around with an attempt to kill off this uh, hill fort while all the distractions are happening over here. Don't mind that play at all here. As Chemo is going to have to react to that in one way, shape, or form here. As the Odysseus pulling back 36 HP remaining on that one. Jason over here pulling back as well as picking off these Frost Giants is very, very challenging. Chemo is trading exceptionally well in this game. As the Bronze does finish up, Hillfort goes down. Taking this down will reduce the number of Huskull that Chemo is able to assemble there. Not only that, opening up this gold mine for uh, raids later in the game is going to be a big deal. Fortified Town Center is coming through for uh, Shelty in this one as the Heracles coming through, going to bash down those Frost Giants. He has got so much HP. You don't have to pull him away because he's got so much HP. Um, those throwing Axemen, you want them to be targeting down the Heracles because he just stays alive for ages uh, as the Frost Giants getting cleaned up here on the uh, on the front. We do have the Huskals getting clean, cleaned up as well as the army of Chemo sort of dwindling where that's concerned. And now Shelty can start going in to some uh, some town center rating ideas. He can get himself up hill forts, uh, fill fortresses. He can go for that town center down the bottom. I do think that grabbing that is a good idea at this point for Shelty. He doesn't really need to go to the Mythic Age. You do gain yourself a Bellerophon, but um, it's not a it's not a, that big of a deal. A couple of probably too many villages on that favor as well there for Shelty. Uh, at this point, he does start, he's not really needing favor, whereas he does need a lot more food. So putting those villages onto farms would not go astray. But Rhyme coming through for Chemo as his army coming back. Going to throw up that hill fort yet again. And Shelty is looking for some more fights, trying to keep Chemo in this heroic age. Does not really want to deal with 
the uh, the impending Ragnarok. So taking fights and continuing this uh, this conquest in the Heroic Age. It's not a bad idea, but I'm still surprised to see not a single Hapaspis coming through here for uh, for Shelty. It's a really, really odd way to play this position, but so far it's working out for him as we see Shelty retreating back to the high ground here. This is uh, probably not enough of an of an elevation for him to get the bonus elevation that comes in in Age of Mythology. The, the, the cliff has to be ridiculously high uh, from memory. As the uh, Frost Giants getting taken down, the Hoplites get cleaned up so quickly by these throwing axemen. But Hera is now on the way for Shelty. He's not going for the easy option. He's not going for, for Hephaestus. We see the Hoplites moving off. Shelty just needs to put pressure onto this town center. He doesn't need a fight here. He doesn't need a fight here. He doesn't need a fight here. He needs to just go here and prevent that from going uh, the wayside of Chemo. As Chemo is still holding on nice. We see a fortress coming up as the Hoplites are moving in. Hapaspis coming in as well now, finally, for, uh, for Shelty. This is exactly what he needs. And now that he's got... Now that he's got a Mythic Age, there's no excuse to not be going for this town center. As the units turn around, Hoplite keeps going in. Going to be put, distracting that one there. As the Toxodes is going to be trading nicely against those throwing Axe there on this position here. Shelty is getting that fortress up beautifully. I love this. Uh, one thing to remember is that Heliopolis... Generally, you don't want to build those against Norse. It's one of the, it's one of the few matchups where Heliopolis are not that useful of a unit. Why? Throw an Axeman deal, while a, only a little bit of hack, they deal hack, and ranged hack against Siege is a big deal, as the army is now moving across here, we haven't seen yet Shelty moving down to this position with his army, but with all of the army of Chemo down the bottom, what does that mean? This town center is now open, plus there's a lightning storm here to drop down and take all of these units out if he so chooses, or take this one out as well. But we'll see how it's going to go. Village is now moving in to grab this gold mine for himself to boot. As the army over here does win this fight, uh, but at what cost? As the hill fort is going to be going down here. Hoplite's going to be taking out the Ulf. Yeah, we see the Medusa coming in. Going to be able to clean up that Thrym Frost Giant here as well. If Shelty is paying attention, and he does pay enough of an attention there as the Frost Giant gets cleaned up. The, the Toxoid, the, the Toxoid is the, uh, the army over here. We'll get this town center, but not with Lightning Storm coming down. Send villagers in to shank this down. The, the Lightning Storm also hits the settlement here, so it goes back down to nearly zero... Uh, zero HP, I think. That's what happened. I'm not sure if it was just already at nearly zero HP. But now the army of Chemo has been taken out. The Heliopolis is out to take out this town center as well. If Shelty can clean this one up, that's gigantic. But Chemo has got a lot of villages now. A lot of villages. If you can get Mythic Age, maybe he doesn't even need to have four town, three town centers, excuse me. He's going to have a Ragnarok to push through and potentially get a Gold Staff as a Heliopolis is going to go after the town center by itself. This town center is going to be going up. Hillfort coming up. Gold villages on this position. Gold villages over here as well. So a lot of gold remaining here for Chemo. Bronze Mail coming through as well for Shelty here. As the Toxodes are going to sneak through here. We do see the... Uh, Town Center targeting down the Medusa for the time being as the villagers on this gold will get pushed off for the time being. But now this position getting clean, uh, getting protected up by Chemo and Shelty going to have to be thinking to grab a Town Center here. Champion infantry coming in, coinage coming in, donkey caravans started. We'd love to see walls getting thrown up all over the place, which is exactly what uh, Shelty is doing here as the dwarves making a run for it. But the army is in position to prevent this. Lots of villager kills here means a much weaker Ragnarok for Chemo. And he's got to know that Ragnarok against Greek, even though it's not Hades against Greek, he's, especially with Shelty being so town center orientated in this game, is going to be a really big thing for him. There's a whole bunch of dwarves do fall. Town center going to be going down. Villager already in, in position to grab this town center for himself there as the army now swinging around onto this position. Town center for Chemo is going up. Tier is the god of choice here for Chemo as his town center will end up coming up on this position, but now this one goes through. I don't know how much value you can get from Tier here. You can make yourself a whole bunch of Fenris wolf broods to try and rage yourself back into the game. That's kind of the only thing that I can think of here. But with Bellerophon as an option for Zeus, it becomes a much weaker choice. Uh, and we see farms up on the town center. Chemo trying his absolute best to hold on here as the Heliopolis 
rolling in to try and take down the watchtower on this position. More uh, Huskal coming in. Is the army going to be pushing over here as well? And we do have an attempt at for Shelty to push into the main town center. Can Kimo continue to fight here? He's about to be down 40 population as Kimo's not not Kimo. Shelty's not only has he got the four towns, it instantly goes to full population there, but he's got an economy to back this up with the uh, with the seven. Donkey Caravans out. Heliopolis going after the main town center over here. Medusa, unfortunately, didn't target down the Frost Giant for some reason as the Medusa does end up falling there. Picked off a, a cavalry unit instead as more units are coming in. We do see the Bellerophon coming through. That's going to put a stop to the Frost Giants completely here as well as the Heliopolis pulls back. Villa just shanking that one down. Another Heliopolis coming in onto this fight as well as the Bellerophon will end up finishing off that Frost Giant there. And the units of Chemo need to retreat back as his army is just not enough quality here in this game. Longhouse going to be going down. Fimble Winter getting dropped in onto this position over here as the villagers retreating back off of the, uh, off of the farms. Frost Giant popping out over here as well. Heliopoli going after the hometown center to boot there. And now, big weakness for Shelty with taking these fights during Fimble Winter is he's get, he gets no economy. He's basically got all of his villagers town belled, so he's got nothing remaining here. But his army isn't really dying here because Kimo's only got himself 100 population left at this point. So it doesn't matter that Shelty is getting no resources at the moment because, I mean, chemo has got no army out to kill his off, uh, kill off Shelty's army. So the resources are now going to start up straight away. And Shelty is just, I mean, he's dancing with the Bellerophon. He's got the advantage where that's concerned. Chemo is really falling behind in this game. And, I mean, he's got this gold mine left, but that's about it. When that when that finishes up, he's got the home gold mine as well. But he's lost his hometown center and everything else to boot here. Chemo in that position does decide to tap out. And Shelty levels the series one-to-one -one with some incredible decision-making. I loved this option of, like, a really strong Athena rush into a second town center. Once he sees the watchtowers, you go, okay, you spent all those resources on the watchtowers. I'm going to grab a town center. Okay, we're going her, so throw an axeman. I'm going to town center. Really, really smart play here. Not opting for a crazy game from the side of going for a tech rush, but going for the boomy game. And then also chemo, maybe going, putting the, the, pulling the trigger on that frost a little bit too early there means or meant yeah means that uh shelty didn't take any damage from that frost which most of the time he probably should have and shell and chemo just could not come back after that that kind of misplay so to speak if you guys enjoyed this one please consider the follow on the twitch if you're on the youtubes hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next game